AR Laycast doesn't provide exact location. So uh, what we want to use is like AR place marker or you can call it the place indicator or targets, whatever. But in here, we're going to call it the uh, place indicator, which is going to be uh, work as a cursor for the uh, AR Raycast. So to do that, I just create the image folder and then I'm going to bring our indicator shape. Enable alpha is transparency and then scroll down, apply it. Go to the material. We're going to create material. Place indicator material. Let's change the shader. Unlit and click transparent. And then we're going to select the AL indicator material and go back to the air unity and in the hierarchy we're going to create empty object which is called place indicator and make sure the transform is reset and then as a child we're going to create the plane and but we don't need mesh collider so we're going to remove the collider as a material we want to use place indicator material so there you go but since it's a bit too large so if you want if you don't know the size of the object it's one of the best option is just create the cube and the uh, reset and then make the cube as the site what you want so this time i just want to make it as a uh, around 30 centimeter so which means the size of the indicator should be around this size so let's select the plane and let's reduce the size i don't know 0 0.1 or a little bit more this is quite okay size we can delete the cube again and let's go back to plane we don't need to receive the shadow either cast to shadow so i'm going to turn off the cast to shadow and receive shadows. We are kind of ready. Save it. Let's create the C-sharp script, uh, which is called place indicator. Let's open the place indicator. First, let's add, because we're going to use the AR Raycast to have this place indicator. So uh, using the AR cast, we want to have the always in the certain position. So we know that they are where we are pointing at exactly. So we can use this. It's going to be same as a uh, Raycast. So uh, let's call the uh, namespace. And then inside of the uh, Raycast, I mean inside of the uh, class, it's almost going to be same. So private AL Raycast Manager is going to be Raycast Manager. And then we need to have the uh, private game object as a indicator and again same as before uh, we want to have private list for latest hit and in the start we want to say because this time we're not going to attach in outside so we want to say uh, latest manager equal to find object type of a uh, latest manager and indicator is going to be the transforms child because we're going to attach this script to place indicator so child and then first child is going to be which is a plane right now but yeah it's going to be the indicator so the type of the object is going to be game object so at the beginning we want to say indicator is going to be deactivate we don't need this line and then let's go to the update bar lay is going to be vector 2d location is going to be uh, middle of the screen so always the cursor is going to be stay on the middle of the screen so screen with divide by 2 which is center and again screen height divide by 2 
it's going to be the uh, exactly center of the uh, screen so after that it's going to be same as a uh, lay cast this transforms position is going to be same as hip pose position and transforms rotation is going to be same as hip pose rotation but just in this case we want to add one more uh, condition if indicator is not activated so indicator that activate activate in hierarchy is not true so boolean indicator that in active in hierarchy which means if indicate is off if indicator is not active we want to say indicator enable that's it and let's save this after that let's go to the hierarchy we need to have a session origin as well as a session and same as before we want to have a plane and a latest manager but inside of the a plane ah no um not this one remove this component a plane manager and then again uh, we need to use a default plane into the uh, a plane manager but uh, this time let's click the a default plane and then go inside of the inspector we don't want to see the the a plane itself so we want to disable a plane mesh visualizer and as well as mesh renderer and line render so well there will be the uh, al default plane but we're not going to see it because we turned off all the managers all the visualizers and in the end click the place indicator and let's add component of place indicator and now everything is done so save the scene actually it's going to kind of like try to follow your AR planes here and there 